and on behalf of Roosevelt, he said that the leaders of the Third Reich should be executed six hours after they are caught, or even one hour after they were caught. And Churchill said that this is a political issue, not a legal issue, but this telegram was never sent to Stalin. Uh, the prime minister said that we should consider and the attitude of uh, Germans to British uh, prisoners of war. And the sense of uh, Roosevelt uh, was not clear. Evidently, he didn't want to sharpen relationship between the allies. But the American uh, president uh, usually uh, didn't think of what uh, would happen after the war before it was of uh, vital importance, and the issue of punishing military criminals was one of such issues. For instance, at the Tehran conference, uh, the leaders started talking about unconditional capitulation for Germans, and Stalin said that probably it is too early to officially come up with such a statement because Germans uh, show cruel fight and they may be even more cruel in their uh, resistance. Uh, Roosevelt uh, didn't answer that and started saying that when he was young he studied in Germany, but after uh, Tehran conference uh, uh, Roosevelt had to pay more attention to the issue punishment of uh, German criminals, uh, his subordinates started to get, uh, wanted to get his support. Uh, Morgenthau was talking about cruel attitude towards the Third Reich. Uh, Germany uh, should be punished economically, and the leaders of the country were uh, to be executed. So, it is quite a well-known fact. Um, well, he suggested that all the members of the Nazi party should be destroyed. Well, when it was uh, just described that it was about 13 million people, so he said that 5 million people would suffice. So, uh, being a, con a convinced Protagonist, uh, well, the opposition advocate of Mongetal, well, there, uh, he thought that uh, there might be some relations different from those with uh, Germany. The latter um, were aimed at restoring uh, German, Germans, uh, Germany's economy and its political status. All this was explained in the memorandum of 1944. Uh, the previous attitude of President Roosevelt to Magenthal's plan changed, and as a result uh, of the changes in the internal uh, position of the country, Ru President Roosevelt decided to uh, formulate his final decision concerning this plan. Well, they, uh, the latter gave some sufficient time to uh, the Allies in order to work out the strategy towards uh, post Hitler, Germany, and uh, its former allies. Well, the president got uh, a note which showed that uh, the Reich and its generals should be tried or judged in, in the legal way, in the judicial, juridical way. And so all this was supposed to be considered uh, in due time. And, well, during the Yalta conference, this was addressed. Uh, State Secretary Stettinius and uh, Colonel, uh, the Colonel who represented the Foreign Office, uh, discussed this plan. The latter uh, laid a certain foundation for the future U.S. strategy concerning Germany. It was thought that after... Um, positive capitulation of Germany, it was possible to put on trial such uh, criminals as Hitler and uh, his abettors. Well, if this had been done with 
without any trial or, uh, or court hearing. So this would have been um, a kind of um, diversion from the juridical process. Uh, therefore, they would have been uh, considered as martyrs if this had been done. Therefore, justice had to be applied and, uh, well, proper, uh, proper uh, judicial process had to be uh, arranged in order uh, to make uh, the human world study uh, the atrocities of those criminals that would be put into trial. So, uh, the group that was in charge of investigating the damage done by uh, the German occupants, uh, well, studied uh, various interpretations of uh, the consequences of the process. Therefore, when um, the question was raised of using uh, the German prisoners of war as hands to restore the Russian economy. Well, he hailed that, and the idea was to uh, make use of those uh, prisoners of war for Harriman, who was ambassador to the Soviet Union. Uh, well, it was clear that this could be done. He knew about the gigantic losses uh, of the Soviet people. Well, there was no need to object, uh, object to the requirements of Moscow to uh, pay the damages for what had been done. In Maisky's opinion, uh, there was nothing uh, to do with a, a summary execution of those Nazi criminals. <coughs> so, at the conference, the leaders of the Big Three paid attention to, to the judgment itself, but it was not uh, done on a scale. In Livadia Palace, Roosevelt tried to win the confidence of his interlocutors by speaking about his shock after what he had seen in the Crimea. He said that he felt some kind of a rigid opposition to the uh, Nazi, uh, and therefore, if Stalin had raised his glass to the execution of 150,000 uh, German officers, he would hail that. So that was the position of the West, and uh, Roosevelt didn't have to support Stalin in his cause. The Soviet uh, leader had a very clear position concerning the judgment itself or uh, uh, the process. So at that time, there was some quite a clear-cut conviction that the leaders of Reich would be taken uh, could be taken prisoners alive, and that had a lot to do with some statements inconvenient for, for the West. At the Yalta Conference, the British Premier Churchill suggested that Stalin should compile a list of major war criminals who had to be uh, exposed just before they were going to be uh, prisoners. The British Premier also asked Stalin if he wanted the criminals to be tried before the execution and whether it was going to be a, a juridical rather than political act. So Stalin replied that he would prefer some court procedure. And um, uh, he also wondered, uh, President Roosevelt wondered if this was going to be too judicial. And he wanted journalists and correspondents to stay away from the courtroom until the criminals were uh, indicted and condemned. So the position of the British and American people was not quite clarified uh, until the end, it was only after the death of Roosevelt that America acquired a more clear-cut position. Washington approved the idea of the court, of the court hearings, and uh, Jackson was also appointed justice uh, on the case of Action Centuries. Also, the, the project of organizing an international crime over military criminals was handed in to the West. Well, there, there were some other um, representatives of the Russian uh, delegation in, in the courtroom, such as Molotov and others. So uh, all the allies appointed their representatives to the courtroom. And several, it was suggested that several categories of uh, Nazi criminals should be selected 
Gebert, Mussolini, and others uh, were uh, identified as Group A. Uh, otherwise, th those were criminals that were supposed to go to the country where they had committed their crime. Also, uh, they identified people or criminals whose crime could not be associated with the country they came from. Uh, the next group comprised those criminals uh, that had committed crime, but there was no way to uh, produce evidence testifying to those crimes. But they pertained to such groups as SS, Gestapo, and other punitive units. Uh, according to the opinion of the American side, well, some of those criminals would form the core of the future Nazi uprising, and that was really dangerous. It was also pointed out that this question was regarded in London for some time. Also, they stated that some higher authorities in Nazism, uh, well, were not supposed to be tried um, in a juridical way. They said that many of those officers had already been killed, and there was no doubt that many of those, uh, many of others, were going to be killed in the, in the coming days. It was hard to agree with juridical procedure if some other allies, <laughs> if the major allies, the USSR and the USA, did not agree with that. Molotov, on his own part, expressed the opinion that Rosarman had done his best, and, um, well, he had dwelt upon the matter that was of primary importance. He had asked some time for studying the materials and evidence and after that had been done, they could ask the experts to express their own points of view. So, the, well, Molotov discussed it uh, with the State Archives Office, uh, after, afterwards discussed it with um, some other authorities, and there was a positive answer. State Secretary Stettinius expressed his point of view that uh, the three countries would um, appoint their representatives in order to study all the technical details of the process. A very important step to organize uh, the tribunal uh, had to do with the Potsdam Conference. Uh, the war criminals and those who took part in, the, organiza in the organization of, of the crime, uh, who had a, uh, something to do with atrocities, were to be uh, arrested, tried, and sentenced. So in London, uh, the foreign ministers of three countries, of France, England, and the United States, uh, well, made an agreement, and on the basis of this, the military tribunal was set up. I would like to say that Moscow always kept track of uh, the preparation of uh, the tribunal. It was decided to set up a special commission headed by the deputy uh, commissar, people's commissar, Lushinsky, in order to investigate this matter. So the uh, charges were carefully, the accusation was especially prepared, and it was possible to carry out the trial, which does not lose its significance even 60 years after it was ha uh, held. Uh, well, it opposes to the idea of diminishing the role of the Soviet Union also in the, in the Second World War, and uh, well, to oppose it's an instrument to oppose all those who ignore the interests of other people. This is the main lesson of Nuremberg trial. Thank you. I will start by with the 3rd of May, because before that, everything was quite clearly presented by Mr. Mikhov. And uh, let me just say that in San Francisco, the English people continued to believe that shooting without uh, without any uh, well court hearings was quite possible. It was due to the fact that the English and the French were going to conduct the trial. Uh, well, on the 3rd of May, the proposals were submitted by Judge uh, Rosenman. Ex the experts had submitted their conclusions to Molotov, and on the basis of those conclusions, Molotov wrote a letter to Stalin. He pointed out several drawbacks in that particular project. In our uh, jurisprudence, there is no practice of 
the trial over juridical uh, persons. Therefore, it was uh, su suggested to withdraw this point concerning uh, the judgment or the trial over uh, those criminal organizations. The next proposal was um, uh, just subsequent, uh, subsequent cha uh, chairing at uh, various um, meetings of the court. Then there was an idea that was prepared by uh, the accusation uh, committee. So they believed that all the evidence was supposed to be uh, received without I any proof, any sufficient proof. So those amendments were introduced, and they were accepted in such a way as uh, our delegation had to go to London Conference, which took place on the 26th of uh, July up to the 8th of August in order to work out the charter of Nuremberg uh, International Tribunal. So these two separate documents were also suggested by the Russian party, by the Soviet party, due to the fact that in the proposals of the United States there was one uniform document concerning the agreement that was to comprise the provision on the International Military Tribunal and also the Investigation Commission. Besides uh, those amendments that were made uh, on the 3rd of May, they suggested uh, that the tribunal should consist not of four members, but more than that. It was the French idea. So they suggested that as possible members, they could include those countries that had suffered more from Nazi uh, atrocities, that is, Belarus, Ukraine, probably Lithuania, Latvia, Ukraine, Poland. Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Yugoslavia. Uh, moreover, some more amendments were suggested. On the initiative of the Soviet delegation, they decided to prepare two documents, an agreement and a charter. And by the 2nd of July, those projects were submitted by the Soviet states. So on the 11th of July, this was completely approved. By the 18th of July, on the basis of the American and Russian agreement, they worked out uh, all the charter points. But there were some problems concerning several articles. For instance, uh, the most uh, well fierce debate was uh, the following. Well, uh, the American and the Soviet part believed that the aggression was a kind of uh, was an offense. It was an international cr it was international crime, but the sanctions for this crime were not envisaged by the international law to which our lawyers and international lawyers answered that uh, concerning other crimes such as uh, war crimes, no san sanctions were envisaged, though the international uh, crime they considered to be war crime. Molotov informed Stalin about the negotiations that were underway, and also he mentioned Article 6, uh, violating peace. He said that it was possible to accept uh, th those uh, points in case there was a clear indication of what was going on and that they were talking about the fascist aggression. As to Jackson, uh, he, he uh, actually insisted on the fact that um, the uh, interpretation of those actions uh, did not, uh, did not uh, have anything to do with the party that had committed them. So the American uh, administration thought that uh, there would be uh, a certain agreement, and uh, finally the, the big three also joined this uh, opinion. So they believed that there would be a forthcoming trial over the criminals. They divided this um, in 
surrender took part. It was pointed out the International Military Tribunal had every right to punish those persons that had committed those actions uh, in favor of the Axis countries. Also, they interpreted certain actions as uh, criminal ones. They also identified the place of conducting the trial, uh, so and the constant place, the, uh, the, the constant venue of Embedeh, uh, Ministry of Interior, was Berlin. Nineteen uh, countries joined the agreement. On the 5th of September, uh, the Soviet uh, government and the Politburo of the KBB, uh, passed a decision, uh, well, adopted a decision on having the Nuremberg uh, trial. The uh, chief prosecutor was Araman Andreich Rudenka. Uh, an emergency commission was set up to prepare the necessary documents. As uh, it was mentioned by Zbigniew, uh, it was headed by Vashinsky, Zarshenin, Galikov, Merkulov, Kabulov, and others joined it. And uh, there were some more decisions concerning the minister, the minister, uh, well, Minister Richkov and Abakumov, the head of Smirsh, into uh, this group. They prepared a special uh, set of documents and directives for the Russian group in Nuremberg. All the uh, people who were sent to Nuremberg had to undergo special uh, checkup through uh, interpreter bodies, and they were supposed to leave for Nuremberg uh, in the delegation headed by Malenkov. Uh, well, uh, journalists, correspondents, and film directors were also members of the group. And regular assistance was rendered by the military administration, Soviet military administration, Germany, all special bodies, all the emergency commission, and others took an active part in the preparation of the process. They sent a big number of uh, state security bodies to Nuremberg who ensured security but they also saw to it that every step of the Soviet leaders should be followed. Kabulov announced that the people who were in Nuremberg at that time uh, well, told us about the behavior of the uh, accused during the, cross uh, during the interrogation. And, uh, well, some of the people had to uh, justify themselves, and there were certain because there were rumors concerning uh, the proceedings of the court and the very text uh, of the uh, just uh, indictment uh, document was written in two languages. Beri uh, Milinkov and Mikayan sent special amendments to uh, the indictment uh, text. Stalin, and he also required there should be uh, that some major uh, co connection, uh, correction should be made. On the 18th of October, uh, the indictment uh, conclusion was given to the International Tribunal, and it was published in Moscow, Paris, and Washington. Well, there was a lot of information about uh, the uh, behavior of the prosecutors during the process. Uh, Marshal Five uh, said that they categorically opposed uh, the participation of uh, the Yugoslavs, uh, the Czechs, and the Pol Poles in, in the actual uh, prosecution. The main prosecutor from... Uh, France, uh, England, and, the, uh, and uh, the United States said that uh, they had certain um, criticism of the groups that were in charge of the process. On the 16th of November, uh, it was announced that Rudenko was not prepared to be in charge of the trial. The chief pro pro prosecutor had to say that he was ill and he had to go back to Moscow. So they said that if uh, most prosecutors uh, had the opinion that there was um, some kind of absence of bill of indictment, in this case they could start 
of the process without the chief prosecutor. So, well, they said that uh, they had certain, uh, uh, well, opposing ideas that had to be taken into account when they spoke about the conclusion to indict or indictment or letter of accusation. On um, the 20th of November, the military tribunal started its first session, bearing in mind the negative, uh, the negative idea of the military uh, bodies of uh, Russia. The Politburo of the KPB decided to have their own commission in Nuremberg. It was done under the leadership of Vashinsky. His uh, deputy was Garshenin, who in the absence of Vashinsky had to be in charge of uh, this work and he sent a stel a Stalin all kind of telegrams uh, with the interpretation of the process. The commission regarded various questions about calling witnesses and uh, documents. Rudenko had to uh, speak with Jackson about the following, that the documents concerning the USSR shall not be uh, revealed uh, by the American prosecutors, but were presented in the process uh, by the prosecutors of the USSR. So uh, the leadership of the commission required uh, from Nik Nikitschenko and R uh, Rudenko that they should uh, consider all this as uh, something very important. And they believed that it was necessary to say that uh, some unnecessary information should not be disclosed. It was mentioned on the 26th of November uh, and uh, it, uh, it was discussed by Vashinsky. Special attention was uh, paid uh, to the prosecution speech by Rodemka. Its text caused a lot of doubt and criticism on behalf of Stalin's leadership. It was said that there was little proof uh, concerning a, a preliminary preparation of Germany to uh, attack the USSR. The Politburo of Tukhava Kababi, uh, well, took a decision on to create another commission uh, comprising Zdanov, Merkulov, Garchenin, Grigov, Bakumov. Uh, they were supposed to get, they were supposed, uh, well, the idea was that uh, they were supposed to get some information about the negotiations uh, between uh, Romania, Poland, and uh, some other countries about the attack against Russia. So, as to the composition of this group, there was the documentary part, the prosecution part, uh, also there were some subsidiary uh, offices, um, and also there was a service of communication. Uh, the emergency commission sent to Vyshinsky the list of witnesses, but they didn't want to prolong this particular uh, list of witnesses. They agreed that the number of witnesses would be reduced. It was decided not to make this uh, hearing be based on only written evidence. So they took into account uh, the idea of uh, Reutemann Svandlevsky in terrible atrocities in Auschwitz and some others. Also some information from Paulus about the attack against Russia. All this um, just uh, <laughs> they had to uh, pass a very important verdict and uh, while well, there were also some governmental commissions also of photo materials and some others uh, the prosecutor on the uh, the prosecutor from the USSR used the evidence that uh, that were provided by the American party. They made special emphasis on the mm, crime against humanity that were committed on the territory of the uh, eastern countries. After the introduction of uh, the speech made by Rodenka, the, Sovi the Soviet prosecutors um, presented some evidence of Hitler aggression against the USSR, some criminal treatment of prisoners of war, also uh, well, destruction of state property, destruction of cultural values, destruction of cities and villages, also taking the population to the fascist slavery, also uh, the crime against humanity by Smirnov. In the course of the training and also uh, preparing, uh, not training, but sorry, preparation of the process and its actual conduction, 
uh, they took into account uh, the cooperation among various judges and prosecutors. So the prosecutors from Western countries and Soviet lawyers uh, were quite interested in avoiding certain questions that were not uh, desirable from the point of view of the countries, organizers of the court, uh, people's court. So on the 9th of November, the initiative of Jackson, the committee of prosecutors uh, passed a decision not to allow any political um, attacks on behalf of the defense concerning uh, the uh, pro promoters of, of international uh, National Military Tribunal. Later on, um, Jackson again appealed to the prosecutors, uh, and on the 11th of March, Rudenka submitted the questions to uh, Rudenka. The latter had a lot to do with the political uh, formation of the USSR, foreign policy of the USSR, um, uh, uh, Soviet uh, German pact on non on non attacking, and some others. Also, it was mentioned that Ribbentrop was going to visit Moscow, and also the negotiations in uh, November 1940 uh, to be carried out in Berlin was mal mentioned. It was quite noteworthy that not a single delegation had used, uh, well, could have taken advantage of some strenuous situation in order to present uh, the policy of the Allied countries in some unfavorable light. It happened during uh, Austria, absolute of Austria, and also also in the relations between uh, Russia and Germany in 1939-1941. It was only during the discussion of Khartoum crime that the prosecutors uh, thought it was uh, just possible to cause the witnesses concerning this uh, charge. Well, there was unflagging interest in Nuremberg uh, process. They also tried to agree with Moscow the project of the last accusation speech by Rodenka, and uh, it was interesting to see what position the Soviet Union had. I will tell you tomorrow at uh, our roundtable discussion what was mentioned by the Russian uh, prosecutors. So uh, the Soviet Union tried to do its best to observe the rules and spirit of the international process, uh, trying to abide by the principles of the charter and judgment of Nuremberg uh, Court. The Russian prosecutors spoke in a number of articles of the indictment letter, and they tried to provide the best possible proof uh, to substantiate their accusations and charges. So the charter and the judgment of Nuremberg process still served as a basis to fight against fascism, ag aggression, national intoler intoler intolerability, terrorism, and uh, international rights for any 